Uh. Hi. Ah, stranger. Um. What are you doing in my flat? Got a lot of good things on sale for you, stranger. Oh, no. You're not one of those door to door porn salesmen again, are you? Look, I've told you before, it wasn't ordered for me. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Look, um, uh, Mr. Merchant, yes? Yes. Uh, uh, how do I put this? Um, no. No thanks. No thanks. No, we don't want Sonic X. Thank you. Uh, boy, you boy. We really don't want Sonic X. Um, I'm not quite sure why I was laying on the floor, but um, I'm going to lie back there now, and hopefully, <laughs> oh boy, hopefully, when I wake up again, um, I will actually be waking up, and the merchant from Resident Evil won't be sitting on a sofa in my flat offering me Sonic X DVDs. That's what's going to happen. That's what's gonna happen. Okay, okay. Uh, thanks, thanks for, thanks for, thanks for popping by. Okay, you know, yeah, yeah. Drop by any time. By any time, I mean not when I'm here. Okay. <sighs> what the hell is this thing? Hello everybody and welcome to another episode, yes, it is indeed another episode of The Uncutting Crew! Woo! Woo! How? Ooh. How? And more recent! More recent! 2018 edition! It's got, it's much better than the 2017 edition because it's got lasers and, <laughs> and bright lights and, you know, digital party. displays and fireworks and more grey hair. That's basically what <laughs> this version has. Uh, and we are going to be <laughs> looking at the episode Knuck Knuck Who's Here? I wonder who this is going to be about. Tails. Probably Sticks. T you say Tails. You say Sticks. Why am I pointing at the computer for Donnie? That's really weird. Because <laughs> 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 like... Donnie is inside the computer. Donnie is in Donnie's inside the computer. Oh no! Also, also, the Tron Legacy sequel sounds shit. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, so my, so my beard is now Sonic Scarf, and then inside a commute computer. That's 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 lovely. It's, it's it's all going well so far. All right. So anyway, uh, so hello, I'm Kevin. Uh, you may remember me from such shows as the previous one, and. <laughs> Join me up. And joining me is somebody who has just woken up, which is Double Cross. Hi, I'm tired. You're what? I'm tired. You're tired. You said that for the last show. Um, and that was positively like 10 seconds. And you just said he's woken you up. Have you just gone back to sleep again? Yes. Oh, for God's sake. Anyway, <laughs> so joining me is somebody who is who is basically currently wavering back and forward in her chair almost asleep, which is Cat Double Cross. <laughs> Thanks for that. And also <laughs> joining me is somebody who has not slept and is exhausted, which is Donnie. Hello, Donnie. Hi, I'm also tired, but I'm I'm advanced tired, I guess is the way to put it. He's is going at higher like, level tiredness for distinction level. This isn't regular tiredness. It's advanced tiredness. Advanced tiredness. Cat got the reference, yay. Oh, tiredness advance, everybody. Stage one, two, and three. 
before you go Eat. into tiredness rush and tiredness rush adventure. The, the tired boy advance uh, coming soon. <laughs> oh dear. It was uh, Nintendo handheld. Don Tendo handheld. Don Tendo. Uh, just get him to open his mouth and stick a cartridge in, and then everything will be fine. Oh <laughs> Made my of God. sleeping pills. Right. Uh, so we're going to be uh, going through Knock Knock Who's There. Oh, sorry, Who's Here? Because that's the important thing. It's like it's a double joke. It's us. We're back. Hi. <laughs> it's not, not who's Hi. here. It's actually us. Um, but uh, and also during that, you're going to have some factoids coming up once we do the commentary because Mr. Alan Denton has very kindly produced a number of things after I think rewatching the episodes. Yeah. I think he rewatched the episodes and then just went aha. Mm -hmm. I think it's this one where he actually. I'm not going to say he throws Travis under the bus, but. <laughs> Under something. Uh, I think he threw it under the ice cream vendor's <laughs> vendor's wagon, maybe. Ah, uh, well, you'll see. Himself was Travis. You see, yeah, yeah. Travis didn't make things much easier, but much better for himself. He, uh, the fact that the fact that Alan actively points me in the direction of tweets Travis makes about this episode <laughs> rather suggests. But he had these to hand. <laughs> so, for the entire time. Yeah. He's been uh, waiting for this. Yeah, so, um, and yeah, that's going to be uh, an interesting one. Anyway, so, it's been a while since we talked about Sonic Boom, and of course, nothing but good things has happened. Yeah. Such as Donnie. You, Donnie, you, 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 what's the good news, Donnie? What's the good news on the street? What have you heard? What have you well, heard on the street corner, Donnie? Well, about the, Sonic the good, Boom. I don't know. Well, the good news is, <laughs> the good news is that nothing bad has happened. Like, this month. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> nothing bad has happened this the month. The bad news is that nothing else has happened whatsoever in the last year. Well... The show has completely vanished from Boomerang's schedule over here in North America. Mm. It, it's not even airing on Boomerang on TV anymore. It's airing in Thailand, apparently, though, right. at 5 in the morning. Uh, I oh. found out just last night, so that's interesting. And also, I discovered my uh, Verizon Fios guide. One of the channels is somehow airing Sat AM. Sat AM is getting better airtime than Sonic <laughs> Boom right now. To be honest, that's not surprising. That actually isn't surprising to me. Sat AM um, is a classic. And so is Sonic Boom in a very different way. Yes. Stars is airing it, by the way, Sat AM. Stars is airing it. Star Stars doesn't know what it wants. Stars never. Well, neither does this. Let me get this right. So, Stars cancelled Ash vs. the Evil Dead. <laughs> And brought in his place, Satam. <laughs> yes, it's airing in like it's it's That's airing around the market. <laughs> you, you fact, let me look the guide right yes, now. Similar markets. Can, can, can we have a, a gritty you? reboot with with uh, Buddy Robot having a chainsaw yeah. arm? Sonic Satam was the gritty reboot. A, even gr even grittier. Oh, we just introduced Shadow. That's it. Oh jeez. I'm not sure. Even even I don't think that would <laughs> be any kind of good idea. Um, so things that happened, things that have happened in the past, whatever. Uh, Bill Freiberg announced that he left, which I think we did cover. I think we covered that too. I, we don't it, remember. He he announced it quite a few months ago, didn't he? Many months ago. And, and if got... we did, we did it. We did the recording like what? What was it like? It was December 2017. I think he had announced it by then. Yeah, I'm pretty certain we had, we had discussed it, even possibly as early as episode nine when we did or episode ten's recording. Um, at the very least, so there's that, um, which was like sad, uh, and then everyone started to really panic. Um, we've got no news about Sega at all, by the way, apart from apart from the fact that they they launched a toaster. 
that toaster That's has said. gotten more promotion time than the entirety of Sonic Boom hmm. in the last two, three years. Yeah. Just, just, guys, okay, so a novelty That's... toaster, which is basically a toaster with a sticker you could get off of Red Bubble slapped on the side. Which deliberately burns your toast. That, that's that's how novelty toasters work, really. Yeah, but that, you know, one thousand of those, that is the hill that Sega wanted to die on in terms of promotion. <laughs> over. Oh, yes. Over. Uh, over doing anything with an internationally syndicated television show about its flagship character which has connective licenses uh, and branding contracts for, mer for merchandise connected to the series and the sub genre, sorry, the sub um, brand of Sonic Boom. Yeah. 1,000 novelty toasters greater than television series. Can, can, can we just... If, if it hasn't been already obvious based on all the episodes we've done on the Uncutty Groove so far, I think it really goes without saying at this point. I feel really, 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 really bad for the Boom crew. I yeah. really... Really, really do. But it, you know, we've seen some. I mean, over the last let's say three years, yeah, we've seen some really baffling decisions. That one, pretty yeah. much takes the cake in terms of if you put them side by side. <laughs> Well, go, I mean, which one do you think was okay. promoted by the company the most? <laughs> okay, I can one up you because, to be fair, they kind of did take the cake because there was a cake recently at the Joy Plus Sonic birthday party uh, earlier this year, in G a couple months ago. Sonic Boom was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> oh, it's Japan though. J J Japan's one wouldn't if it's Japan. Japan wouldn't surprise me. The Boom's not. They don't to be fair, though, they, they oh, did sorry, sorry, oh, sorry, Sonic Toon, as it is over there, obviously. Yeah, yeah they, they they did get Sonic Boom over there in Japan, just they not they heavily. Got, they got it on Netflix, actually. Oh, good also, for also, thing dubbed with no, it's on, it's on Hulu now, I believe, isn't it? Uh, is it? For America, I think it's probably on Hulu. I'm not sure if it's on Hulu for Japan. Get, I don't even know anymore. Japan, I mean, so, so, so this is the thing, we don't know. Because there's nobody saying anything. <laughs> no, no, well, to be fair, Mike Pollock said it uh, last night in response to one of my tweets. He did link to Hulu, so that's why I mentioned Hulu in the first place. Yeah, that would Mike make Pollock sense, and it. It, was, it was maybe it's maybe North America then. Yeah. Um, also, update on the Sat AM airings. I just checked. It's actually Star's Encore Family, so it's not what kind of channel you, you think it would be. Are you telling me it's a repeat Yes, it's also on a family channel. They and should in... they should get some sort of new series on there. It's on a family channel. Yeah. you say they put Sat up on a family channel. It's a family picture. If if it if it means where anything, where were you when the brains were handed out? Okay, if it if if it helps Makes at all, pinky? guess what video game series uh, airs Mega Man. two episodes? No, although that is also gotten boring <laughs> treatment already. By the way, um, I know there's a Mega Man series that's doing something. Okay. No, no, no. But the Mega Man series has already been moved over to Boomerang, basically. Oh I no. Mean, oh well, it was nice knowing you, Mega Man in. series. We've never, we've, we've haven't got to looking at you that, but by the time if we you do, need, you'll have gone. If you need any more proof that it's Cartoon Network making these bad decisions, there you go. Four episodes in, and Mega Man has already been pushed over to Boomerang. To the backup channel. Yeah, although oh, it's getting a slightly yeah. better time right now. It's like yeah. eight something. Uh, also, 
guess what video game series, cartoon series from the 90s is air? Oh, ha- the they 90s. have airing. They have airing after Sat AM. Captain uh, N. Oh, God. Um, no. Oh. You, you panic at that, but that sounds like a good airing show. Um, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Free. Close. Super Mario Bros. Actually, Mario Bros. Free series. That's a good. That's a good shout from. Kat. Yes. Oh, well done. Kat. The adventures. The adventures of Super Mario Brothers Three. Uh, which made, which, which always the, made no sense. That's always the, that's the weirdest title for a television show. Mm. The the episode I'm seeing right now like, that they have scheduled for next week is a totally toad Oli. Magical Adventure and Misadventures in Babysitting. So episode seven. I'm okay. okay. Uh, the, 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 this is fine because this is just like, I'm like okay how nineties could we make this particular title? I'm okay with this because of the implication that Misadventures in Babysitting is about Mario babysitting baby Mario from Yoshi's Island and causing a time as, loop. As for Sat AM's airings for next week, it's Head or, Heads or Tails and Game Guy. Oh That's God. Just starting. Yeah, if there's one thing I, it's worth noting about Sonic's like television series, I don't, I don't even think. Bo- so one thing, I, okay, you know what? One thing I give Sonic Boom credit for, they didn't really make a tails pun really in their titles, off the top of my head. So off the top of thank your you heads. for that. Done in. Like heads or tails, like is Sat AM's one of the two earrings for next week that I see. Uh, I, I credit the Boom writers with being slightly more original, original in their in their content than that. Um, so, uh, but it, it didn't stop there, though. It didn't stop oh, no. going back to going back to Boom, um, because at which of the American ones was it? <laughs> which of the fan events was it? Uh, was it sort of revolution? Oh, sound revolution. Oh, fan events. Uh, yeah, well, it has to be Sonic Revolution or okay, so, uh, Oh, yeah, because no, fan so, no, Fan Jam hasn't happened yet, has it? At the time of uh, recording. Uh, no, I don't think it's happening until Okay, so it must have been Sonic Revolution. If it's not Sonic Revolution, we're sorry. Or I'm sorry. Um, blame it's not blame Sonic me. Sonic Revolution, what? <laughs> Sonic to Revolution. be fair. Otherwise known as Satan. So. <laughs> so you, 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 t- you tell them what happened, Donnie, because you remember. Uh. Do I? Okay. Sonic Revolution is also known as Sonic Wii. <laughs> so, uh, the Boom it's Team... It's worth I don't remember anything. Okay. The... It's... Okay. It's a blur for me. Okay. You, you tell them, Donnie. Thanks, Kevin. So, uh, at Sonic Revolution, there was a Boom panel, which, um, obviously, the guys were at, which I think was... I think it was the uh, Freiburger 2. <laughs> Free the Freiburger 2. <laughs> and uh, also Alan and Greg. Mm. Uh, Alan and Greg Han. And yep. they basically confirmed, well, uh, the rest of them confirmed that they are no longer contracted with the series. And Oh, boy. So, the, the, so basically, the team isn't contracted to Boom anymore because it's come. The contract's come to an end, as far as we're aware. So, Cat's just written down a piece of paper, Zweiberger or Zweiberger, uh, and no, Cat, no, just no. That's good. You crossed that out. That was terrible. I thought it was clever. <laughs> <laughs> Zweiburger, yes. Zweiburger. <laughs> oh. Father and son, wonder twin powers, activate. Um, so basically, yeah, I'm not expecting season three. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it is, it is, uh, the thing that we were told, I think, was it was up to Sega as to what happens next. Now, yeah, that's going to end well. Considering Sega have shown a complete inability to understand that they even have a television series, I'm not, I'm not exactly holding out hope now. Yeah. So, I, it, yeah. It, it's pretty obvious that Sega wants nothing to do with Boom. I mean, 
it, it became clear to me like within the last two years, and I guess the only reason why they kept like this whole thing kept going for as long as it did was because of the contract. Mm-hmm. And now that it's over with, well, I mean, it's basically, I guess it's Sega's quote unquote get out of jail free card because they yeah. don't have to worry about Boom anymore because Rise of Lyric and Shadow Crystal basically. Even though well, it was like well, we, years we ago. knew this, we knew this from the get-go. The, the the games did their very best to tank the entire brand, um, and basically, it's on the Sonic Boom television series and the comics. Let's obviously not forget those. Uh, they were they basically railed against the games for being poor by daring to be really really good now obviously we've had the situation with Archie and Archie has gone away and IDW has come along Yeah. and hell it would be lovely if like there was a if they would do is like a secondary story thing at the back like a, you know a, like a four page thing or what have you it'd be kind of nice uh, if we revisited the boom stuff but because that was good and, uh, it was, and it sold uh, well uh, that was like that really irks it sold well <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be honest IDW isn't really giving me much hope for like but like... Donny but Donny it's been selling like hotcakes I really yeah don't. Yeah, but it's mainly because of modern Sonic universe, and I don't really think with with what I'm get like what what I'm seeing from like what Ian Flynn has been basically suggesting is kind of giving me the vibe of I don't really think Sonic Boom comics from IDW would be a thing. Um, yeah, I mean, probably not. But that's what I'm saying. It would be like a, it would be like a, like a, a four-page back of an issue thing, which could be its own separate whatever. I mean, we... probably the best thing going forward for it if it ever did. And, to be honest, and... if they asked Sega of Japan what would be okay, they would say sticks would be okay because they don't have a... sticks. Is the only thing that apparently anyone is happy with going forward from Boom. Not Boom like... Sonic, just sticks. Admittedly, it's a lot easier to mesh sticks in with Monsonic than it is to mesh any of the other characters in, considering that the they exist. Yeah. <laughs> like, let's let's merge the Boom universe. What can we do? Literally, we can only merge in sticks, and then maybe if we want to, some of the side characters from the TV show. I mean... But you're going to have to buy Bill Fry back. About. Uh, I don't think Bill would come back. I, I think Bill would Bill would do stuff for the comic. Bill would do stuff for a comic, but I don't think Bill would do stuff for television because I think Bill was kind of done mm. with. Uh, well, it, a little bit the fan base because they, they, the the fan base moved from like being what have you to being like kind of confrontational with him, and you know he quite rightly said, I don't need this nonsense. So Speak to me about what's on Amy. <laughs> what? Yes. What? That, that, yes. I, I, I think he I think he might have been Son Amy his, I think his love for Sonic might have been Son Amy to, to Son Amy to death rather. Um, I I really can't blame like Bill for taking the route he did in the last year. Yeah. I really can't blame him. I mean the fact that he hasn't even really been in the Sonic community for that long, and he's already basically wanting out. I, it says a lot. I mean, I don't think it says now, a lot. We've already established that this is the Sonic community. It it's also says a lot that we actually warned them <laughs> about it. Just like, yeah, look out for of... this. Look out for this. Avoid this topic and this topic. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm yeah. The Sonic community anymore. Um, I'm not sure I am. I don't know. This is, this is an interesting situation. I, like, I know a lot of the old guard have uh, considered themselves lapsed now. Mm. Which is interesting because ha- there's like, a lot of people at the top still. You know, you know what we need to do? We, you need to... So this is what the boom team needs to do. Okay. You 
do a new series you sort of propose a, uh, a treatment for a new series and you call the series Sonic Boom Mania you'll be guaranteed to get all the support in the world you know what I definitely I can complete they will they would because just the simple fact that it has the word mania in it yeah the fan base immediately thinks Oh my god, it's the Holy Grail. It's 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 going to be funny cuz watch them as they completely uh, seriously this is, the, this is the, a, a legitimate fault saker have, okay? There's anything anything that's remotely you know, got a little bit of traction. Watch them over the next 3 years as they just run that son of a bitch into the ground. <laughs> They already have, to be honest. Uh, anyway, so Sonic Boom Mania Adventures coming soon, and uh, and yeah, so we're we're now in a situation where uh, we have Sonic Boom is basically it's not cancelled, uh, and it's not ended, but it's sort of on permanent hiatus. So it's like the Mega Man comics. It's like the Mega Man comics. They'll come back one day. Yeah. Somebody Archie is still saying. <laughs> yeah, Waving a flag. Even... Like, no, give it, Ar- give it the fuck. Archie man. just talks about Riverdale still. Like, <laughs> that's all they have now. Like, they'll stay that's it. Riverdale. I mean, I'm not surprised that they're valuing the yeah, like, that, original that's, series. That, but that, in fairness, that's a company that has a major TV series which is investing in <laughs> promotion for it. Oh, oh my god. So I can't blame him for that, actually. How, how is it? I don't know, Donnie. I don't know. Doing better you're, you're... At promoting their damn show. Donnie, and Sega... you're, you're the only one who's relatively close to Sega nowadays with, with stuff. Have you got any bead on them? So I don't anymore. <sighs> The, it, the only thing I know is that, like, they clearly don't want anything to do with Boom because it's been, quote-unquote, tainted by Rise of Lyric. That's the only explanation I can think of. And and everything else is just, what the fuck? <laughs> that basically just sums up my entire, like, like oh, people think I, think it, people think I, like, completely... Like, People think that I don't criticize Sega at all for some reason. Do they see the show? <laughs> they well, see well no, because no one told them where it was. <laughs> Apparently. Um, actually, it was very interesting, over, especially like over the last few months. I don't know if you've seen this on Twitter. But there seems to have been like a more and more of a sort of a, like a, a bit more of a snowballing effect about... Um, especially on Twitter, more and more Sonic Boom memes are coming up, and like more and more people are going, "Oh wow, this show was great." And Why were they like this a year or two ago? No, it's just like it, it's it's both pleasing and infinitely frustrating because it's like, have... "Wow, this show's we know, <laughs> we knew, we've been telling you guys that for That's years like... now." Oh. You know what needs to happen, okay? We need to get. I mean, um, every in fact, every person that has actually seen the show will tell you that, and have been telling them that for like years yeah. now. Not every person. Right. So it's it's reached a hundred episodes, yeah. It passed a hundred episodes bef- before um, into season two, yeah. By nature of being fifty-two and fifty-two. Yeah, fifty-two. It was fifty-two, fifty-two. Yeah. So we got hundred. So we're we're over the hundred, which makes it much more. It's more than Sonic X. It's technically, 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 um, but it's reached. Over, it's over the hundred mark, which means that it's much more attractive in terms. And it's the fifty-two and fifty-two block, especially. It's much more attractive to people for syndication later on. So it's sort of reached that that sort of magical American TV mark of being over a hundred episodes, which which I I know from reading. I mean, purely reading is something that actually television stations, particularly in the US, actually look to. You know, it's a significant chunk of content for their future plans. So, 
So, syndic- so syndication-wise, the, the, the show is going to be around for a while. In one form or another, on Netflix or on Hulu or on or on Boomerang. Um, <laughs> See, if, if there's one plus side that I can say about this entire situation, this entire situation is that somehow, despite all the blunders that Sega has done and all the blunders that the that uh, Cartoon Network has done and Boomerang has done and all the blunders that the Sonic community has done, somehow the show still managed to have one hundred episodes yeah screw you biggest sonic f- longest running technically, so- technically. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big bracket round a big bracket huge humongous th- asterisks there i know because of the, the length of the episode but technically i think last I, i'm not sure if it was last year but not too long ago they were even nominated for a teen choice award they were they got nominated for team choice award and got beaten by family guy if I remember rightly because, what? because they were up against fucking Family Guy. I mean, because teenagers are, are watching Family Guy. Teenagers watching Family Guy. Probably, probably, probably the, the fact that this is that Sonic Boom is technically the longest running show with the most episodes, and yet it just got completely screwed yeah. over in just about every possible way. It's just it, no, it's, it's it's funny though because. We actually went into the city centre the other day when uh, LM, some of the LMC members were down. Uh, T.A. Black was over. He was over from Scotland and been visiting because he hadn't seen any of us since Summer of Sonic 2016. And he thought it'd be quite nice if he actually saw us uh, <laughs> not dead. And we went into like a Tokyo Toys place, like, a, like an anime manga shop uh, in the centre, which I didn't even know was there. There are... I and, think there are basically two in, yeah. in, in and the island. And right at the front, Scotland right at the front, which somebody pointed out to me, I can't remember, right at the front was like a bunch of the uh, slightly cutie, emoticon style uh, Sonic Boom plushes. The emoji plush that they... That, um, I have not that, seen that it Psycho anywhere. Psycho made adorable yeah. videos of. Yeah, I have not seen that anywhere throw the smiley tails into the mint candies make me smile and there was there was that and then there was like a, like the, the like the hearty heart sonic one i, I might get those <laughs> just purely because i've not seen them anywhere and finding like sonic boom merchandise is such a rarity um incidentally sonic boom merchandise probably gonna be very expensive in the future in terms, in terms of collectibles, because no buggers bought it, because no, no one's advertised it. Um, but so you've got that. God, I feel <sighs> so bad. I just anyway, like, there's the, no, the amount of times I just want to say I'm sorry. To I the know, boom. I know. It's and just I like messaged them to that effect. I must admit, oh. that like, we're I, so sorry of what's happened with this. Uh, like, but and between... they're so nice, these guys. Still, they keep coming to the. I mean, like I said, they've technically been done with the series for ages, and they went to Sonic Revolution, all of them, and they keep being supportive and talking about the series and interacting with the, the likes of us and talking about Sonic in general. Yeah, and talking about Sonic in general. And but actually, I mean, it's like we're between... at, we're at episode twelve. Yeah, we have got loads of lovely stuff to talk about coming up for the rest of the series i mean obviously season two is long done now but we've got so oh, much yeah. to talk about we've got vector we've got vector. oh yeah we've got the vector episode coming up um Baby, we've got oh vector. <laughs> okay let's talk about that very briefly okay <laughs> because this came up on twitter a while back from ass. from alan i think you, i'm pretty certain it was alan and Alan said something about like made a like made a reference to Charmy on Twitter and talked about Charmy uh, or, or something or the other. But made made some, I, he made some reference, and I called that the only reason he would know that would be if he was doing research about the chaotix yep right and it was about a f- 
I'm going to say like two months ago now, I can't remember. And Alan tweeted, uh, like when he was explaining something else, that I was right and I was the only one to twig that they were looking, they were indeed doing research about their chaotics for uh, potential inclusion, specifically ending up with Vector. So, wow. we I actually called something about this series correctly, apart from the fact that it's been treated terribly. But <laughs> from, <laughs> that's an but understatement. Actually, but, but I, I actually called a, a thing right. Uh, no, apparently, according to Alan, he, he actually again he said this on Twitter. Nobody else spotted it, and like he thought I deserved props for that. So that was kind of cool. So thanks, for that, Alan. That, that that was that made me smile. Um, I, but yeah, I wish cool I wish stuff. Sega was a supporter of, of the shows. You guys have been supportive of us because really, yeah. Sega you guys are the show as they are recently about Vector. Yeah, Vector, who has Vector. now got his own team on that racing game, Te even though Blaze is in it. <laughs> Remember, God's sake, no Blaze is just like top tier character. This well, tradition has a reason. This I'm weird sorry. tradition has been going on technically since Sonic Free Riders, when suddenly Vector was in Team Rose. Yeah, what is it with this? It's like Vector. We need to put Vector in a team. Hmm. He hasn't got a team, has he? No. We can, we'll, we'll slap him in with Silver and Blaze. We might not be able to afford anyone else. We think. Poor Blaze. Blaze deserves so much you better. You can get a plush Vector. And it's the only character. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can get a plush vector? Yeah. You get, one of the more recent merchandise plushes is like um It's basically like Sonic, Metal, Shadow, Shadow, Chow, Eggman, Vector. And it's like that's a weird combination, but I I SBO think... the chameleon gets no love. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm pretty sure the SBO was already in the in the catalogue, just he's invisible. That's what he does. He's a ninja Kevin. Spirits unite. There's <laughs> Spirit unite. and then save us for the love of God. Um there's... I think there's still a team or two left well, actually, that actually, that's announced, really, that's so. funny because we talk about Archie, it's like right at the end of the Archie run. Like when it could be just like just past two hundred, suddenly Espio became like a quite a major secondary character with a lot of stuff going on. Um, it was like, yay, Espio's Espio's getting his due. What do you mean the comic's going? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love Espio. He's one of my favorite characters. Anyway, there we go. Um, but yeah, there's there's stuff that could have. Been there. But we've, we've, sorry, but we've got the S, we've got the Vex, sorry, the SBO, I want the SBO, uh, we've got the Vex episode coming up, we've got the the movie, sort of, sort Feet of. the four parter to do at some point. That's going to be bloody fun. Got the four parts to oh, do at some boy. point. Um, we've got. I, it's worth noting the uh, yeah. ending, like the. Oh, we're, the by the movie, you're not meaning the, like, the, the upcoming Sonic film but like the uh oh yeah there's a film coming guys there is a sonic movie coming out there's a sonic movie which, is, like the which is doing so well we've got jim carrey as dr dr eggman god knows what's gonna happen there um and they've shown like one thing so far that's really annoyed me because it was like a billboard for like welcome to green hill it was obviously Green Hills, according to the car behind it. Yeah, um, and then nothing. No, I think it's Green Hill. It's Green Hills because isn't that the, the, the production code? Mm. It's the production. You know, they they call film by something else. I think yeah. it's called Green Hills. But like Green Hills is also written on the police car. Oh, okay, it, so great. Like... Hey, but hey, you know, you know that part in Son and Boom where Green Hill never showed up at all because they didn't need to rely on Green Hill. <laughs> no, to... the only thing they did was name check no. Angel Island. No, they didn't need to rely on Green Hill in in Sonic Boom. The entire fucking show is the beach level. <laughs> <laughs> With the palm trees. It's Emerald welcome Coast. Welcome to Seaside. Yeah, welcome to Emerald Coast. Welcome why to wasn't, Sonic the Hedgehog. Why wasn't Vija in Sonic Boom? We'll never know. We'll never know. He was. He, he'd have been in season three. Major character. 
Well, welcome to Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic and Tails are, as you know, forest creatures, which is why, obviously, they live in the tropics. Yeah, but <laughs> but the, the, the thing that really irked me about the, the, the movie stuff initially, was just like, okay, if you're, go- you're doing the... You, you, I'm, I'm hoping you've got somebody who knows what they're doing in terms of writing that damn thing. <laughs> Initial stuff did not particularly look good. Um, but the, the thing was with the... The most I know is that that photo of the, that photo of the um, welcome sign is a, like a very pleasant mood board photo <laughs> that you'd find on Tumblr. Yeah, so the... It's like, I don't hate this sign. It's beautiful. So that... I like this photo. It's just very nice. Yeah. It says, welcome to Green Hill. Yeah. And then it's, got, it's like an American town thing. It's got at the bottom. It's like, population... Specifically, one thousand nine hundred and eighty-one. You couldn't. Gi- you couldn't. Gi- yeah, you couldn't give it another ten to make it nineteen ninety-one. What seems to be clear is that it'll turn into nineteen ninety-one at the end of the film. Because remember those billboards update. I think you're thinking of Zoot- <laughs> Zootopia, <laughs> the one that keeps doing. Unless they could like paint over it, but. It's just oh, yeah, like they do. you That's... could, but you, but it, yeah, but that, that one hadn't the look of that hadn't been hadn't been painted over years. But, but the fact that, like, like, I, I think either that's a narrative device which I've just identified. which you've which you've just identified, or alternatively, you're frustrating enough to just be like ten shy of like ninety one and the year of Sonic's. Thing for a very is... obvious and easy to do reference and not do it. It's just like, eh. And it doesn't case, work well. The worst case scenario is somebody in the design team who isn't familiar with the fact that the series started in 1991 vetted it because 1991 looks weird. Like, has there been, like, a single visually good... Weird. Whereas 1981 sing- doesn't look visually weird because it isn't a bunch of, it isn't a bunch of straightforward repeating mirrored numbers. Mm. Has, has there been a single good Sega business decision in the last year that we could talk about? Um, so uh, give me some kind of hope back. <laughs> Mania Plus and Mania Adventures. Mania, Mania. So in other words, the, um, but I'm tired of me. <laughs> so in other words, Sorry. basically, what? Tyson. Um, doing the thing that, doing the thing that the likes of me and Aaron and other people were saying to do, like, back in, ooh, let's say, 2009. Mm. It took them eight years, folks, but <laughs> it turns out, but, but, you know, we're, we're at the point now where, where fans who create are treated with respect, and that's fantastic. As opposed to snorted at and going, which is what they used to be. So. Yeah, now, now they do that towards their TV show. So, I mean... Yeah. Uh, no, in the any... comic staff is just 100% fan base. A lot of the comic staff. Well, I you, still what? can't fucking believe that, that Evan Stanley is designing multiple new Sonic characters. You, yeah, you remember that... I mean, I, I know you do, okay? But when, when I say this, I know that you do, but you do remember that Ian's from the fan base. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like there there hasn't been a heck of a lot of evidence to the fact that you know what have you. And I do like the fact that IDW like rehired a lot of the guys and were given new roles and stuff. No, but it's I... like the successive piling on. The IDW gave the Archie Sonic team some love. Why can't the Sonic Boom team get some love? They need to go it's, sit in the corner and think about what they've the, done. The thing is, yeah, they need to go to the corner, sit and think they've done. I mean, be very proud of the body of work they've left behind. Because I tell you what, it's going to be one of these shows that, let's say, three years down the line, four years, maybe five years, the fan base from that time will look back on the Boom series and go, dear God, why wasn't this supported? Why don't we have more of this? Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> and the fa- the fan base will be kicking itself. That's but... that's unless some executive somewhere 
here's the, the Sonic Boom stuff's been getting a lot of traction hint, on Twitter. Hint, wink, wink. He, got the, it's getting, been getting nosh, big traction nosh. on Twitter with like reactions and things, and it's really big okay. on Tumblr. And if somebody, some executive somewhere, catches wind of that and suddenly goes, oh, I need more a series of that, and then like signs a thing. Okay, and then to, gives to be... Alan and Greg pots of money. Okay, to be fair, if there's one thing that this fan base never does, it's kick itself and admit it's been wrong about something. It never no, does I this. I example. 50% of it does, and then it argues with the other 50%. <laughs> um, and then somebody comes along and goes, yeah, but what about Sonic Adventure? And then it all goes wrong. It's always about Sonic Adventure. <laughs> No, it's not better. Yeah, what we it's need specifically Sonic Adventure. Okay, Re rename the Sonic Boom series as Sonic Adventure Three, and then all, all Sonic, apparently no, magically no, gets better. No, Sonic Adventure Three Mini Edition. Cause you really have to combine Mini Edition. Two. Yeah, Encore mode, extra Encore, matinee version. You, I don't know. You will, you will leave the fan base completely. I just... I do own Sonic Mania uh, now. He does, man. I don't. Turbo bought it for me. I was just like, what? I'm... Bought, why have you bought me this? I, 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 if I would have bought it, I would have bought it myself by now. And a Turbo was just like, ah, oh, well, now you've got it. And I was like, well, cap my play. <laughs> like, I, I, I got Mania Plus. I already had, like, I double dipped for it on Steam and, and Nintendo Switch. Like, I did the base game. Did you and... get Internet Fate? Old, no. Old school reference. Because I mostly just. I mostly just. <laughs> complained about the special stages on Twitter but but uh other than that I played it for like a day or two and then I just stopped because I'm just tired about mania <laughs> like, I'm, like you can have too much against... of a good you can have too much of a good thing yeah I, I wouldn't even like, you can have too for much of a well produced that... and promoted thing <laughs> it, it's not even so much that but like the game it, it is it's solid but I wouldn't call it perfect. It's it's. I'd give it like a seven or an eight, personally. Mm. I enjoy. I honestly enjoyed Forces more. <laughs> it's. I'm don't, being honest. Don't I, say don't say that out loud, Donny. Oh, you'll be kicked out of whatever the fan base is called. I already is. was. Like, <laughs> like no, I already no, was. With the, Sonic fan base. the moment I, I dared to criticize it. Mania in in just a slice way, and also you know actually say Sonic Boom was a, is a good show. So, I mean... Well... Whatever. The such case. as the one... Did I say sorry to the Boom crew for having to deal with this fan base, by the way? Um, In let's... this conversation, you said that you wanted to say it so many times. Like, I think, I know, so but many times. I think I, even in this pre-show, we've said it so many times. <laughs> There's so many things I want to apologize to them for. I, it really, yeah. oh my that, that, god! But the, the the great duality of Sega was like at the same time when actually really good things are happening, things that should have it, happened a long time I, ago, and at the same I, time there's this this just classic Sega just not understanding anything. I I if there's one thing that there it's one bright side to look at. That I really feel like the Sonic Boom team, like Bill and Greg and Alan and all of them, can look back about the show and just be happy about, is that it did phenomenally well with episodes. It got a hundred episodes, despite all these obstacles it had to go through, and them having to do with all the fans and stuff. The show still managed to get a hundred episodes, more episodes than any other Sonic show. It's got, I think, it's even the longest, like running i think because it went it started at 2000 it was announced in 2014 and then in like what 2016 2017 i believe um that I was i don't know anymore to be honest it's, I mean, that's it's like three we, years that's, which that's is that's longer than i break. there was Sorry. well yeah to be, to be fair it was yeah to be fair there was that year but mm. technically it was longer than sonic X and Sonic Underground and all them. Yeah, so Sonic I think X it came... is in a different class. Sonic, Sonic X. Sonic X is what if we actually did Sonic X. Sonic X is immortal. Is... It is still airing in places. It is still airing. Yeah. We thought it was uh... No, it's back. Other countries have actually picked it up again. 
So oh, to, fuck. Be fair, well, to be fair, Sonic Boom's still airing in some places. Like I said, it's still airing in Boomerang Thailand. So, But again, Sonic X it's had years old, a heck Sonic. of a lot of episodes, makes it very popular in terms of 70, syndication. So there you go. It's very 78, well. something like that. Anyway, 78. We have, we have whinged all about this, and I'm most guilty about this for far too long. Let's get into the episode, shall we? Oh, no. We are not whinging. We are complaining. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Amy. <laughs> can, can you really yeah, blame us? No. This is all we've had yeah, to talk about, really, for the last year. Once I didn't. But this is like catch up of everything. So my God, it's been, it's like there's been months of stuff to talk about. So here we go. Anyway, we're going to go on to Knock Knock Who's Here. I have no idea who wrote this episode. We'll find out in a minute. Um, because I've been checking out. Anyway, but we're going to go on to that in just a moment. When the recording starts again, Donnie, just apologise. <laughs> we'll just apologise on, like, the count of three. There we go. Okay, uh, we are recording again. On the count of three. <laughs> One, One, two, two three. three. We're, We're sorry! sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the world's smallest sports taped violin. <laughs> Basically. Oh my god. Yep. Serious. So sad. By the, by the, by that way, is a visual uh, gag that they would so have written as well. <laughs> by the way, that is who is the writer of the show. Who? I just put it in I put it in the chat. Uh oh. I'd love to know. I cannot pronounce your name, Phil. <laughs> Natalie. Oh yes. Okay. Natalie, whose surname we learned once, and then it's been a long time. Completely blank. I'm pretty out. certain Bill corrected us once, <laughs> oh, yeah, and I can't remember who. So we don't say the phrase Natalie because Natalie or Natalie. Uh, Ralph Swayzeak. Who is it? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Steve. Let's get that. Let's Natalie get that one back Steve. in. Steve. Steve wrote this. Natalie. Steve. Natalie. Steve. <laughs> Steve. Yeah. Steve. Steve. Steve wrote this. And okay. So. But privately. Uh, Donnie. Uh, do Steve, you? Steve. Steve. Steve was under the control of the Millennium Rot. <laughs> Steve. Um. So, Donnie, do you have the episode there? Uh. Do I do I actually have the episode? I do, do believe you, I'm able to. You are in the location where we will watch the episode. Yes. Yes. Uh, which, I have, which for the purposes I'm, of the, for the purposes we, we of YouTube, he's in the ho he's in the flat with us. We we have deposited the package. We deposited the package. Well, well, no, we we did no, we didn't deposit the package. Let's get this clear. We didn't deposit the package. We got the episode via our episode delivery iguana. You, you, it, had you a, mean it, wasn't... it had a small saddle and everything, and it was it was very sweet, and it was like a little little it had the episode strapped to one of its legs. It's half past midnight. You're gonna make me. You mean it wasn't Vector? <laughs> Don't break the illusion. That's how we got the episode. Okay, you know what? You, like you know what would be great if somebody released the Sonic. Boom! Season two episodes on DVD, like season one was. Give it another Thumbs up. One. That's Ding. true. That's true. They never did release season two on DVD, yeah. did they? Someone get on, get in contact with somebody and just go, "Hey, you're gonna release those as a set, or release those as you know, eight episodes of a DVD, or whatever it was." Wow. Don't see why not. Get yourself some. Get yourself some money. I don't know, no. somebody gets them. Really? You know, it's probably one of those things where somebody at Sega has got a sign or a line or something, and it's just like. I don't know what it was. Anyway. 13 minute DVDs is the math makes sense. The maths. Anyway, anyway well, anyway. The maths. Is the, the anyway, we're going to start. We're going to start for the, for the basis of me and editing later. So, here we go. It's knock knock who's there. Knock knock who's here. Ah! And. Uh, Same thing. Yeah, so, knock knock who's here. Uh, we're going to count down. I've not seen this episode, so this is going to be interesting for me. 
I have seen it, and I've seen every episode, but it's been a long time <laughs> since I did see Ooh, them. Boy. Well, you will need to think about who your highlight is, of course. I'll probably be Knuckles or something. Probably, right. be, probably be Knuckles in this episode that's clearly about Knuckles. Don't decide your highlight until after the episode, but also make it Knuckles. It was, just apologise to Travis as well. It's probably Eggman. Here we go, everybody. So... It's definitely. Um, it's always all Okay. Three, two. Warbot is Bay. What? What? Warbot is Bay. What? Warbot is Bay. Uh, yeah. Have I not, been not, supplanted by Warbot? Not, no. not, not one. What? What? Not one. Oh, jeez. Now I'm confusing myself. Damn. Right. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Good. Nice to see Uncutting Crew's back, ladies and gentlemen, doing exactly, <laughs> exactly the usual that you've come to expect from us all. Um. Anyway, we are going to begin in... Oh, boy. Uh, so, for me, three, two, one, click. Is that going for you, Donny? Yep. Oh, boy, it's been a while since I've seen this intro. Woo, J.D. McGregor. Other Evans. Knock, oh, knock, knuckles. who's here? Okay, those crab meat can really freaking go. Like they can go. And in a straight line, which, as crabs, they shouldn't be able to do. <laughs> Admittedly, they're also robots. Anyway. No, you killed the babies. Look, they're just being friends. Hey, the inner beams. Inner beams. They're Remember? just being friends and working together. Da, 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 da. Oh, dear. Ow. <laughs> I forget. I forgot how light pink Amy was. Slash is. Unlimited. <laughs> you just know that the writers just spent ages. What's the best thing we could offer as a reason to go there? Unlimited hummus, of course. <laughs> oh! Just in case we should take him to a familiar place to refresh his memory. Like in Hacky Sitcoms. There you go, Angel Island. What a coincidence about our Angel Island note from the pre show. Hmm, funny though. So, well, I'm pretty certain <laughs> Knuckles now. Oh God, the discoloration on top of his head. Uh, with the oh, that that, that, looks, that looks awkward. Ow. Oh God. Oh my god, no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no, that's awful! <laughs> you can't see my face, but you can tell from my oh. tone. What the hell? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you must adopt the big muscle boy. Hey, can I live with you? No, okay, I understand. Wait! I'll take you in. I think ah. it was a strapping young man like this you is to help around the house. Out. Unpaid manual labor is just as good as unconditional love. I'm in! Oh, poor Knuckles. <laughs> this is just, oh this is just a very sad episode of this character. Is that a stuffed cat? Yes, of course it is. It's an old oh, yeah. lady. She's got a That's piano and a taxidermy cat. Mm. Oh, how he loved taking old tiny photos in that kiosk at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> Old timey, old timey photos back in the day when you were hand drawn. Okay. All right. 
Could somebody from the boom team please tell us what the name of the stuffed cat is? <laughs> stuffy, stuffy McCattens. That's the only thing I can think of. Riff Raff and the rest of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Playing mahjong, writing angry letters to the newspaper, removing skeletons from her bird feeder. Oh, look at the time. We need to head back if we want to be in bed. Skeleton. And Ma, you're embarrassing me in front of my friends. Removing skeletons from the bird feeder. Oh my God. What's she feeding them? A houseboy. Oh no! No! No, Dave! No! Times we had together. <laughs> that probably would have been a lot more impressive if we'd actually had any good times. Oh well. She's, wow. left, her, she's left her fries, man. Have it. Have the fries. Wow. No. Oh no. No. Oh no. A terrible fam. Why is nobody acting on this famine? Your friendly and helpful demeanor is an insult to our humble, shame mongering culture. It's clear now you'll never be one of us. Knuckles, Knuckles, dude, keep walking. Leave us without any well water. We'll just die of thirst. Fine, I'll move the boulder. That was a weird way of asking. Well, well, yeah. Well-adjusted folk, but hopefully I'm wrong, and you're actually the kind of people who take in a weird stranger as a member of your family. <laughs> of course. Wanted a daughter. I'm not a girl. I said I always wanted a oh, daughter. Oh God, that's kind of. Not to stain your oh boy. <laughs> Heartbreaking, isn't it? Yeah, floral print really draws attention to all the wrong areas. S hit him on the head again. Sonic, Sweet. why? Sonic. Is that the one with pencil pushing action? Oh, give me! <laughs> Let's go! It's mine! No, it's not! This isn't working! I was expecting a daughter who was more ladylike! I can be ladylike! Watch! I love your shoes! I don't really love her shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckles has this down pat. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Knuckles has the worst stereotype of women down pat because actually all of us are like this. Oh dear. Oh, poor Knuckles. Well, well, uh oh. Well. If it oh, isn't my oh, boy. nemesis, Knuckles. I'm sorry. Have we met? Of course we met! You got me fired from two different jobs, almost mm. ended my marriage. You ruined my life! Oh, yeah. How you doing? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Frank Grimes, it's good to see you again, buddy! <laughs> Got to him. You got. You got to. I'll admit his shoes are awful, but don't you? His shoes are awful. Yes, we know they're made of Duplo, but there's no need to bring it up. Oh yes, yeah, because you don't remember the wife's more evil than the. <laughs> there's one thing I learned from my time as teenage walrus girl. It's you gotta go along to get along. Teenage walrus girl. Oh my goodness. Teenager kid, no war is girl. Teenager kid. <laughs> There's only one comedy chimp movie that's that. Yeah, the one comedy chimp movie. There, there needs to be a 50s voiceover for this part. Fuzzy puppies! <laughs> Fuzzy puppies are back! And Knuckles is good at it. Yep. Knuckles, what's up? Oh, just picking up dinner for my family. Went to that new falafel place. It got stellar reviews on Eggman's food blog. Yeah, but enough chit chat. I want to know more about Eggman's food blog. Yeah, so, so, so do I. Season three, Eggman's food blog goes viral. My family, a family who's loved and taken care of me for the past twenty-two and a half hours. Twenty-two and a half. Some good family time was twenty-two and a half hours. Why is he reading the newspaper sideways? Oh, honey! Why is he so cute? Oh god, the noise! Oh no! Cracking bones. 
Why is he also one of those you large dogs that thinks he's a lap no one else would. And if you want to continue being part of this family, then you'll have to be a villain too. <laughs> Never eat baba ganoush again, it'll be too soon. Well, eat. Well. Lots of eating out going on in this episode. But family comes first. Now, Knuckles, be a good boy and thrash him! Cover the jugular! She's amazing. She is a. She's a. As like a tertiary character, she is just amazing. <laughs> hey, look, it's Knuckles Definitely. doing doing things in, like he does in video games. With his Knuckles. He's not even chuckling. That background music. Mm. His, his punches are making pew sounds? Pew pew? Laser sounds? The cat the, the, we, had, we, had a, we had another cat die sound effect, which I know they put in as much as they can. Out of the way, Nux. I'm not gonna fight you. They won't fight Knuckles. Use him as a human shield! He's not human. <laughs> He's an echidna. What? Oh, hello. If we skip forward and backwards a bit for a second. Hang on. Yes. That wasn't me. I didn't do it. Charlie, I'm not sure that this is how families treat each other. You imbecile! We're not family. Are you so dense you don't even know when someone is taking advantage of you? Are you so dense you just gave away the plan, Charlie? <laughs> yeah. I don't like talking. <laughs> oh good, they've put... He allies with the side of <laughs> I love the fact that he just like, flings the, off, the net off himself anyway. And then they run off. Sorry guys, I now realize I had a family all along. Charlie and Belinda. No, wait, I know this. Yes, yes you're right. Let it be. Aww. I wish I had a family like that. Maybe someday someone will knock on my door. Oh, I'd take them in and treat them as my own. Oh, well, that never happens. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, all the feels in this episode. <laughs> that was. And then undercut by a rich one. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah, a, a very slick boom undercut there, but that was very legitimately very sad. Well, it, yeah. <clears throat> we would we put the knuckles who genuinely feels all alone in the world, and then reminded him that he is. Uh, but Cannon knuckles, you wouldn't be able to had, do this to. No. At least it had a happy ending. It did have a happy ending, as well as a sad ending. Because if only if same Knuckles time. knocked on old monkey's door, he'd have had, had a happy life. <laughs> and it's like... He'd have actually had, like... Uh, friends and the friends of family, if you've, if you've got good friends like that. But, you know... He could have was... one of those kids who visits old people. It was more, it was more sort of casual... It was, it was more casual inquiry because they saw Knuckles as opposed to actually trying to do something about it, his friends. Um, yeah, sad. We will ne we'll never get, we will never get the Knuckles old monkey sitcom now. The yep. We won't get most of these sitcoms. Can we? I know. We won't get, we won't get any of this. Uh, poor Dave. Oh, poor Dave. Poor Dave. But the but okay. So from my side, um, I there, there was so much to love in that episode. Not having seen the show for a while, you you kind of forget how good this <laughs> how good this is. Oh yes. Uh, it was like I said, it, it was punchy. I was as you could tell from my tone, I was legitimately mortified when Knuckles was like, <laughs> just like I'm all alone. The saddest possible knuckles makes Kevin sad. Oh, the gust of wind and the blooming, the soft focus on him. As his dreadlocks go in the breeze and he looks up into the stars. <laughs> God. We, like we were actually, we actually, it's like you guys are actually going to go there and say, hey, this character that's like 
has no family. Imagine how freaking lonely that is. Oh no! Imagine if he suddenly understood. How are we going to make him understand? Well, we're going to start by pretending we're going to do the amnesia plot. And yeah. Like, oh, fuck. Abandon that for a minute. We know what we're doing now. Yeah. Subvert subverting the uh, the the stereotypical amnesia plot with knuckles nose in a minute. Genius. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes oh absolute genius there was lots of little details in there like i said i really wish we found out what uh van der snout's cat was called unless i missed it in the thing it's so possible it was... we missed it oh. she took the cat with her to the burger so it's possible the cat has a name mm. that was mentioned i didn't hear her go come on whatever it is and she picked it up which was the time that i would assume that you would wind up mm. The uh, the old timey photo, <laughs> the old timey photo is like, it's like oh yes, the uh, this is my husband from from where he was. And it's like oh yes, it's from when he was during the war. No, he just liked old timey photos. <laughs> <laughs> just, I mean, there was so much good in that life. Was, she mentioned a mole. Mm. A mole. A mole. A mole. Yeah, she went. Yeah, she, she just went, mole. went down the mall and said old timey photo there. There's a mole on this island. Um. Yes. Why Is not? Is it where Eggman lives it, now? No, it's it's in that same it's in that same barn slash warehouse that keeps being reused. It's actually an entire shopping mall in there. When it's, it's not full of, when it's not full of fuzzy puppies, which came back and yay. Okay, t t just to prove Charlie's not exactly the well the world's best genius. Knuckles beating Charlie at Fuzzy Puppies. Uh, and Belinda, who, as like I say, is wonderful as a character, is actually just being... Oh yes, as we found out in the first episode where she was introduced, yes, she's sweetness and light. At the same time as, Go for the jugular! <laughs> Kill him! She's Kill him! We will turn him to the force that he will then kill and destroy it. It's like, oh god, <laughs> so good, so so good. Cat. Uh, yes. I talked at length there about that episode. I'm too sorry. Um, what was your favourite bits going forward? Maybe you should try another house. Knuckles just repeatedly knocking Look, on the same on the door same, over knocking and over on again. the same door. It's like, I don't think I've seen that character. Oh, my voice just went weird then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've seen it. Uh, I don't think I've seen that character before. Knuckles' amazing take of what Lady Lightning said. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, that was that was pretty cool. <laughs> uh, any other bits? Any I lines? love your shoes. I don't really love her shoes. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a bit too, wasn't it? That was yeah, that was bit... my favorite moment as well. Knuckles is my favorite mean girl. <laughs> Knuckles the mean girl. Also, 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 Sonic being the one to like complain about Knuckles' dress not looking good on Knuckles. They like, like puts attention I mean... to all Knuckles. Like, didn't Sonic say like, something like he puts it puts the attention on all the wrong areas? Like, yeah. what? Exactly, are you looking at on Knuckles at the minute, Sonic? The floral print. <laughs> yeah, but what areas specifically are you looking at? Because He's, we might have worry. questions here. Don't worry, he has seen Knuckles in a in a fitted shirt before, hasn't he? This is true. Multiple He's been in tux as well. I'm pretty certain. Yes. Yeah. So like, Sonic knows what he's looking I'm, for. I'm, I'm just slightly concerned because I, I know there's been jokes made about lock-on technology since 1994, but that's no. Real... <laughs> I know what you're thinking. What? Yeah, I think I I think people just like to see their friends looking their best. Yes, and I'm sure that's entirely what was meant by <laughs> by that joke. Oh dear. It was, boy, oh boy, oh boy! Uh, it was nice to see. Actually, there's, there's like some some odd characters that you don't see. you don't see. Um, uh, we've got Lady Walrus and and the babies. Uh, from from and that, no peril yeah. this time. No peril, it. exactly. No peril. 
The only peril was so... from Knuckles wanting the uh, was it Mayor McMeh or something. Um, counts, councilman. Councilman McMeh. The the, the, the council pushing the, action. The, the, yeah, the uh, the equivalent of Mayor McCheese. And I know, and you'll see this. You've seen this on the. You've seen this on the uh, uh, little factoids that popped up from Alan, that he said actually that if he would happily pay a hundred dollars for a fan made <laughs> councilman McMahon. I will need to see that design. Yeah. I won't be able to make it, but you know, I would just yeah. like to see that design. Uh, Alan, if. Alan, if you are able to secure an actual good look at what Councilman Bookmeh looks like, I think Cat might actually have a go. <laughs> uh, I'm not exactly a 3D modeler. Not exactly a 3D modeler, but but you know, I'm I might try it. But for a hundred dollars, she might. Uh, don't actually no, pay no, me don't, money. no, don't pay her money for that. Hire as an artist. She's stupidly good and is now in a book. She's now got stuff in a book. Sort of. So, what do you mean, sort of? You have. You, sort of. you, you are a a hired illustrator that this was is used true. in a in a published work this is about true. serious matters. Mm. And you have a background in animation. Yeah, but that hasn't gone anywhere, you know that. Yeah, but you've got that. <laughs> That's what I'm showing. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. All the talents Cat has, and you guys just... Out, you guys out there don't know. Like, no, she's legitimately in the book now. What the book is it? It's... Um, <sighs> it is a textbook about mentoring autistic students for a university. Oh, and you're one of the illustrators. I'm one of the two illustrators. Yeah. She's good. <laughs> mm. I've seen the pictures, they're, they're amazing. Mm. Alright, going, going back on that, wait. Well off track. Um, I'm going to have to watch this episode again afterwards and just enjoy it for the whole thing and listen to it. But of course, we know what you're here for till the end of this episode. We know. Are they? Are they we now? Know. We understand. <coughs> Let me just. Um, mm. Getting real close. I'm getting real close. The microphone. Getting real low. Okay. <coughs> Wait, and let's see if in the eight months he's remembered that he needs to pause when I say it. Donny. Yes. <sighs> Who was your highlight, Donny? <laughs> Um, Knuckles. As I expected, it was Knuckles. Are you sure he wasn't in the episode that much? Uh, okay, I, I, I uh, alright, Fastidious Beaver was the highlight of the episode. No. Damn, um, damn, damn straight he was, and I'm, and I am confident, I am confident, I am willing to place a large bet on the fact that Mike Pollock agrees. Actually. <laughs> Actually. Donny, your timing was beautiful there. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, so reasons why? Reasons why it was it was Knuckles as, as your highlight of highlight of the episode. Well, for starters, I can't remember the last time I ever sympathized with Knuckles and ever felt for him in so many ways. Uh, so many ways. <laughs> How many like, ways? Can you count the It's a long story. They 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 did in in fairness, uh, Natalie uh, did really well in terms of piling up how much you felt bad for the character. So 
Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, and they, and at the same time, he, Knuckles still had some very funny moments. Like that's the thing about the show is that uh, this episode is a completely like a very good example of how the writers it they do not just focus on comedy. Like the show is you know a sitcom, and you know there's there's going to be jokes throughout the uh, show, like the, the episodes and. You know, during the show and stuff like that, and you know, you you, it's not all just you know seriousness and action. Although they have been, fo- they do focus more on action in season two than season one. But episodes like this show that you're gonna, you're not gonna just laugh. You know, <laughs> like it's you're... not just made for laughter. Even though that's clearly the thing that kind of draws us into the show in the first place. We we got some but, legitimate emotional drama in that eleven minutes and thirty seven seconds. Yeah, um, and you know, it, we, I mean, it's highlighted by the fact if you know the background of the character, obviously. But actually, just we're even just reading out his his own like bio, and then just realizing, and then just oh. and then just realizing, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. Also, also, actually, another idea. Actually, that's all. It was was that all Sonic's frames could do? Which was just like, "Hi, this is what we know about you. You were born. You were born on an island in the heavens. And the blood of your ancestors flows inside of you. You haven't got anyone else. Also, also, this is the this is this is the only thing you own, which is this weight bench." <laughs> Unknown from Boom E. Um, I don't know. Your duty is to lift these. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it and maybe recover some. <laughs> and win at Fuzzy Puppy. Buddies. Also, actually, the other option is with the Fuzzy Puppies win. Is that either? It turns out that Charlie is actually really not that smart or it just plays into the idea that I've been saying for a very long time that actually Knuckles is the smartest out of anybody and he's just smart in different ways because we know that he's got all these skills and he's got all these and done all these like night classes and things he's expert in this that and the other just like never the thing that's needed at the time (laughs) But it might it, have been the time. But it might, he might just be this fuzzy puppy's like grandmaster and doesn't know it. <laughs> you can just imagine it, him like crossing the octopus floating, eyes glowing yes. like the avatar. Yeah. The fuzzy puppy's circling. <laughs> yes. Like, Knuckles enters there, the avatar state. Like if there's one, if there's an episode that I had to point to that really just illustrates how good the show is and how much it isn't just simply lol 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 this would be it like, yeah. this would be one one a good example right there Actually, is... yeah I, I would also like to point out to myself from back when this was announced because when this was um, announced I like many many others saw Knuckles and just went, wait, they're cheating him like the big dumb meathead? Admittedly, you know, in the games they've not done a very good job past Rider Zero Gravity, let's say, when, you know, they remembered that he actually was skilled in things. Um, they've not done a very good job in showcasing that Knuckles is Rider this... Zero Gravity? Because in Rider Zero Gravity they remembered that he was a, like a treasure hunter and historical expert. They remembered one thing about Knuckles. They rem- uh, yeah, and Knuckles actually got to go. Okay, and this is this is a tablet, and I can translate this and what have you. And Knuckles got to look smart. Um, oh since then, nada, obviously. That was the for- mysterious little blip because <laughs> even before then, the first riders you had that absolutely <clears throat> fantastic fight between him and Storm, which was just dumb as a dumb as anything when it's dumb like, as anything it's wonderful <laughs> like, it's like it, it's sort of like big dumb comedy but you've done okay but the, I, the, I feel the, like yeah I feel like in like in Sonic Forces Knuckles has gotten 
yeah, more... So he, he got <laughs> thrown a bone in Sonic Forces by actually being, hey, what if Sonic's gone? Who's actually going to take command? Of well, technically Knuckles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like, Knuckles did do... keep things going. The ship was meant to be righted by the prequel comic. In which <sighs> Silver comes back and he's like, shit's going to go down. And Knuckles like, oh yeah, I get to do stuff, <laughs> basically. And Silver's like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> Silver's oh, kind of terrifying. Also, Knuckles not going, and who are you? <laughs> Would have been kind of... Yeah, anyway. Um, but, yeah. I mean, but, but two modes... Then you had... Because that was... It, was like, it, was, it would have been so easy just to fall into the trap with Knuckles. Of just being, yeah, yeah, big, dumb, idiot character. Really strong. Has no brain. And by... Obviously, I mean, it's still relatively early season two. This character's got like loads of layers, and we've had emotional stuff with him, and he's been brave, and he's been scared and foolish. And we've, I, I still, one of my favorite episodes is still the just, just the had the ones where it's had the moments with like him and Sonic just, just being friends and hanging out because you don't see it in anything else. Mm. That and him and those ducks. And the ducks. Hey, little buddy! That's so good because that's, it's a friend. running joke that goes too the, far, knows it goes too far, and then keeps going deliberately so it comes back to good. broken Donnie through space time. Hey, How long has it been since you watched that sequence and you're still dying of <laughs> time from it? Hey, little Donnie! Um, <laughs> like even now, still thinking about that joke, oh, and I still that, can't that, help. That this. is a perfect running gag <laughs> of just like yeah, just, just <laughs> making it just keep it coming, keep it coming. We're done with it. No, we're not. Keep it coming. <laughs> like, oh, dear. Okay, now you have done it. No, we they done did it. a good job handling Knuckles with the show. They yeah, really they've did. Done, they've done a superb job. In with Knuckles as a like a multi-layered character, and even at to this point, like building up the backstories and the characters of the background characters, essentially, like I said, yeah, the secondary like... and tertiary characters, it's like would you know would you know Dave being you know hooked and snatched away by Mrs. Van Snout mean? anywhere near as much if we hadn't have had time spent time with Dave and know the Dave character so well yeah it, it, it's they, they are able to play off of the secondary character which is hmm. something that not many shows are able to do and it makes it allows you to take a liking to these characters it's not yeah. just you know the main the, the heroes Sonic Tails and Amy and Knuckles and Sticks like other characters are able to get their order um, of wow. names there went Sonic, Tails, and Amy. <laughs> so it should. I mean, I, I... We got... We, hey, this series treated Amy like order. an important character, which is... I went in chronological order, right? I, I mean, I don't know. He, he went in the Sonic Chronicles order. Oh, jeez. Don't ask me when that series is going to be finished, by the way. God alone knows. Well, that order, I think, is Sonic... Amy? I don't know. Oh, that, 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 Actually, that's, Sonic Amy turns if, it's, if it's Sonic Chronicles, if it's Sonic Chronicles order, the correct it's, chronological order. If it's Sonic Chronicles order, it's just Amy. And then a bunch of other people, and then Sonic. Because <laughs> Sonic is just superfluous until the final battle. Um, right. I think we can end that there, you know. I think that's a nice wrap-up for things. Um, like I said... Really looking forward to hopefully doing this again a lot sooner, but but I if, hope you enjoyed the show. Um, if, if not, you, yeah. If not, we'll see you in 2020. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe by then we'll actually have something uh, positive to say about Sega. You They're know? doing an HD remaster of Episode One. Isn't it? I still, want, I still, I still want us to go through. The first five episodes. They do a HD remaster of episode one. It's, it's an hour thirty long, and it shows on the German side. I want us to do, go through the first five episodes of season one still, because cool. that 
we weren't there as a group for those. For the first five episodes, and since you know a lot of HD remastered games and stuff like that end up getting things like new fonts and achievements, uh, maybe achievements. <laughs> What are we putting achievements we, in we the remake? Yes, a true HD if, remaster. If you would like us to put achievement, unlockable achievements, in what is essentially the unofficial Blu-ray commentary <laughs> for this series, um, give us a like. Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments what you thought of the episode. Obviously, um, please feel free to berate us for taking so long to get back. And other than that. Uh, we do look forward to seeing you. Obviously, uh, also check out uh, check us out on Twitch because we're doing lots of live streams LMC over there on Tuesdays and Sundays. If you're looking at it on YouTube, go to the channel page and there'll be a link there. If not, it's twitch.tv forward slash last minute continue. For all we know, while Luigi may be confirmed in Smash by the time we do it next <laughs> episode. Why not? Why not? So, are we saying confirmed for the current Smash, or like the next Smash gets? It announced? depends when this gets edited up. Uh, there's, uh, I'm also on Instagram now, so have a little look out for that, which is a sort of a joint me slash LMC account. Donny, what are you up to at the moment? Writing articles. Writing articles for okay, what sites? Sorry. What sites? Tell us. Uh, my Nintendo News, I uh, in Tisa C. Um, I actually had to write an article while we were doing the recording, the post show. He, he's a multi-talented man. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I I can never get a break from having to write articles. Just oh jeez. Is that uh, about the Sonic movie happening? That I don't get any break at all, even with Sonic news. So. Oh jeez. Anyway, um, cat on Twitter can... by the way. Cat, you can find. Oh, you're on Twitter at twitter.com <laughs> forward slash. What is it now for you? Uh, SSF 1991. Oh, it's SSF 1991 on there. Um, you can see other stuff. Just follow, follow us, follow Donny, follow last minute continue. Um, Cat is on a number of the uh, YouTube videos you'll see on there in one in one phase or another, and also she's got. Um, Oh, I need to do that tomorrow, Miss. Oh God, what hour do I do that at? To make Phoenix sure I... Wright. I know, but what hour do I get that done at to make sure that I actually get it done? Um, we'll figure it out. But there's an, yeah. her next Phoenix Wright is coming out at some point, which she, that she does on her own, with occasional voices from somebody who we won't mention. Is it fastidious fever? Is that yes. why I? Ain't... Yes, it is. Coming soon, maybe Ace Tony Three. Yeah, but we can so set that, up different. No ones. wonder why. No wonder why uh, fastidious fever was the highlight of this episode because Absolutely. he's already got... he's already on a different series entirely. Yeah. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> Actually. Uh, okay, so we will see you very very soon. Like I say, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. If you're already a subscriber to Last Minute Continue, hit that bell. Hit it. Smack it in the face. Or you could just sell it to Tom Nook and, you know, maybe you can... No, don't sell it to Tom Nook. You need to hit the subscribe bell so you find out what's going on. There's lo going to be loads of videos going up um, in the near future, either from uh, our streams, um, stuff I'm doing, uh, last minute kick out, our wrestling show. Um, oh, I've got to record that sometime next week for SummerSlam that's going to be fun um, but yeah like I say make sure you're fully notified because YouTube being YouTube but anyway it's still summer enough of all of that you need to go so do we so from myself from Kat and from Donny actually <laughs> actually we'll see you next time bye everybody see you soon Hi.
So the thing you were panicking about, Donning, uh, it was the suggestion that uh, we do a commentary on the Bubsy cartoon. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> What could possibly go wrong? It's already taken him. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, <laughs> Boy, I, I, I get the feeling you wish that you had been able to record that reaction. What makes you think I didn't? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>